Welcome to a two-part Flutter embedded tutorial. In this tutorial we will cover the Raspberry Pi serial communications between the Pi and another computer system. In this first part of the tutorial we will cover how to set up the Raspberry Pi serial communication port and test that it works as expected. It is assumed that you have this list of equipment in the description. You will need this equipment to do the tutorial. Here are the steps we will cover in this tutorial. First, enable the Pi serial port. Second, set up the PuTTY app and connect a loopback wire to run a serial port test. Let's get started on the tutorial. I am your digital assistant and will guide you through the steps to enable the serial port on the Raspberry Pi. Open up a new terminal window and type on sudo raspy config as shown on your screen. This will open the Raspberry Pi software configuration tool menu. Now select the interface options menu. This will open up the menu for us to enable the serial port. Now select line I5 for serial port enable and disable menu. I am intentionally going a bit slow. When you see the login in shell menu select no. The next menu is very important. This is where we enable the serial port. Select yes. This menu screen is asking for confirmation. Select OK. Almost finished now. We are back at the main menu and ready to finalize things. Select Select and then select Finish. When prompted go ahead and reboot. After rebooting go to the user interface and find the Raspberry Pi configuration app. This is another way to do the same thing we just completed. I am just showing you another way to enable various interfaces. Don't change any of the settings in the app at this time. In this part of the tutorial we will set up the PuTTY terminal app. Open up a new terminal window and type in sudo apt get install putty dash and ay. Please check out what I typed to make sure of the correct syntax. Most likely your Linux distribution will already have putty installed. In my case it was already installed and up to date. Clear the terminal window and type of putty and then press enter. This will start the putty app from the terminal command line. In the PuTTY app user interface on the left side under category, there are three main areas we will use. The first is session, the second is connection and the third id window fonts. In the session serial line window type in the data exactly as I have and set the speed to 9600. In the saved sessions window create a file called per settings. We will save all of our settings here. Be sure to save this file every time you change a setting in the app. In the serial window change the flow control to none and make sure your settings match mine. If I am moving a bit too fast just pause the video and then go on. I will be jumping around a lot to get things set up. I am doing some final jumping around to check the settings are correct. The next section of this part of the tutorial is very important so heads up. For some reason the PuTTY app does not recognize the system fonts on this distribution of Linux. You need to manually set them. Follow along with me as I fix this and if you get lost just pause the video and then move on. Just about done and moving over to save these settings so that the next time we start putty and load the settings everything will be correct.
Just doing another round of checks and then we can move on to the next part of this tutorial. I restarted the app and then loaded the settings and double checked. Most issues are when the settings are wrong or not saved correctly. Now we can move on to adding our loop back wire to test the serial port. Make sure to power off your Raspberry Pi before doing this procedure. Connect a loop back wire to pin 8 and pin 10 as shown. Here is my Raspberry Pi with the loop back wire installed. Make sure that the connections are snug and electrically sound to avoid signal issues when testing. Open a terminal window and type in PuTTY and press enter to start the PuTTY app. After the app opens load the settings as shown and when that is complete go to the bottom of the UI and select it open and start a new PuTTY terminal session. This will open a new PuTTY terminal session. When you select a number or letter from the keyboard, the Raspberry Pi UART sends the data to the transmit pin. The loop back wire then sends the data to the receive pin on the UART and the data is echoed back onto our screen. This indicates that our settings and wiring are correct. Now that we have confirmed our setup is correct, we can conclude this part of the tutorial. Go to our YouTube channel for the next part of this tutorial.